Nope, that's banned. Red Lords are giga. Now, Ether Lords are fucking banned to the end of time. Until they nerf and buff them accordingly. Fire does nothing but ether. Means. Like actually nothing. <laughs> Just uh, pushed a hotfix within the last few minutes. Oh, just click my own building. Hotfix number two. Fix an issue where jewelry is w way more weighted and drops compared to other items. Thank God. Fix an issue where abyssal scrolls would disappear from players' inventory, leaving an infernal horde. Didn't have this. Various stability fixes. Fix an issue temporary greater efficacy, lethal and unlimited rerolls. Fix an issue extremely large amounts of experience. Oh, this was yesterday. Ah, uh, no. This, this, wait, fix for what, though? 2x ether. Just build into the uh, soul spot. here in my optic. Oh, oh, this sucks. Uh, I'm having difficulty moving my mouse right now. I might have to pour it out. Oh, it's sketchy as fuck. It keeps, it keeps like, I can't like vertically move it well. Okay, wait, so I should go back. Death by cat. All right. There indeed was a small tuft of cat hair in there. People shrug. Uh, well, I mean that that the the fixes they said are were problems with the jewelry drops and stuff, but that has nothing to do, unfortunately, with fixing the um uh the what's it called the um pit thing. But I mean, honestly, I don't even know if I care about the pit being fixed. Actually, probably for legendaries, I will, because it's going to get, like, level 7 of this. is probably going to be fucking grippy as shit. But right now, it's not a big deal to me, because it's more efficient. I'll just come over here. Instead of in the direct line of my volley and shit.
pops up. I'm able to finish the soul spot, it's nothing that's spawning. Where the fuck is this? The bursting fiends. Nope, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not doing the infernal butcher. That's a no no. Scary. Do not get, um, what's it called? Can I get potions at all? Oh, you do. Or mob drops? I like I wasn't seeing any. Boy, Rafe. Yeah, right, that is yo anal queen Rafe. Oh my god. This is actually the worst possible combo we can get. Brem and gay lesbian in one. This is actually the worst combo. You can't cleave. Can barely cleave. We have to chase each one of them down individually. I can cleave a bit there. Take too longer, two times longer than necessary. I do not, I do not do butt stuff. So definitely not anal queen. Run, doggy! Run for your life! Scrolls. Okay. Saw this, but it doesn't seem exciting. Oh, the uh, hotfix again. I can't do that here. Be -ne -ne -ne. Be -ne -ne -ne. 
All right, so this will be that point four as predicted, and then uh, we master work, and we get max life. Sucks. Could have been the rest. Okay, that means what? I think it's 33 res. Ugh, so we're going to have 24. 23.9 under. Oh, no, so 24.1 under. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're going to be 0. 0.1 off, right? Like, actually, just 0. 0.1 off. Come and see. <laughs> I mean, bro, do we just fucking roll with it? Like, like th this is literally fixed if we get one more masterwork on this, but that requires the legendary mat, and I mean, that ain't happening anytime soon. Like, what do you guys think? Is 0.1% under res cap going to get me killed right now? Like, would it get me killed by the time we're doing... Fucking... You know, stuff to actually get legendary mats? Forty six point two and this has a f Oh a poison's actually gonna be sixty nine point nine as well. I just hate seeing it, there's not, nothing else I could do. If if we wanna so, so I mean the idea is this we either do this and have we're point one percent below three caps, but we turn this master work poison resistance into an offensive stat. Or defensive stat. But you know, probably an offensive stat. And we just get, like, a fair bit of offense out of it. But then we have three resistances at 69.9. I mean, listen, there's options, yeah? Uh, what happens if you reroll a Masterwork stat? Does it keep its Masterwork stat? El Chato Cabre? Does it keep its Masterwork, rather? If you reel a masterwork stat, it loses its masterwork. It loses the masterwork, at, but the item still sits at eight out of twelve. That's weird. Because then I was considering just re-rolling the resistance, which is a complete low roll right now. Even if we got literally 12.5, we'd be good. Chad, I'm talking about masterwork, not greater affix. Like, if I re-roll this masterworked 12.4 res to try and get 12.5 or higher, will I brick the master working of it? No. So we, we can never get less than... Two. So that's our solution, right? We, we literally just re-roll this 12.4 all res until we get anything higher than 12.5. And we're done. Straight up. No witchcraft here. All right? That's all we do. Magics. So, so if I re-roll this... Ah, we'll fucking science it, dude. I can't tell if these are masterwork valleys or not. Thing is, we have to roll it, right? 13.2. Oh, so interesting. So it snapshots the masterwork stat, but you can't cheese it and transfer it to another stat. 
So that's regular thorns, but any all res that rolls in this slot is masterworked. Okay. Let's fucking go, dude. Problem solved. Problem gigo solved. Wait, how much was that extra? In theory, we could keep re-rolling, because if we get it like 14 and a bit or higher, we can actually swap the all res from our tree. Nah, there's no need for that. That's micro shit. All right, that's big. That's big. And now we can reroll this masterwork. Whoa, but then the poison won't be masterworked. Then the whatever new stat won't be masterworked. But, I mean, the poison's literally wasted. So at least we get something out of it, right? At least we get something out of this. I don't want any more attack speed. Bro, there's so many things it could be. Come on. I don't really want crit, but I'll take it for now. Oh, wait. It does convert. It does convert. Chat, it does convert. It's literally a masterwork slot. Not just that stat. It said 8 crit, but it's 11.2. It does convert. Okay, we're good. Easy. I'll take the damn, I think. That's a super low roll on the damn, though. But literally the same roll again. <laughs> Not super pog. Okay, there's no reason I'm going too crazy with this. That's just straight up 40.6% damn we got. Alright, cool. And ironically, I do kind of want to reroll this all res a bit. Like, we're. We would need to roll 0.8 higher. So if we roll 14 or above, we can put another 7% into core. Although, what's more important, that or getting barrage plus 3 instead of plus 2? Uh, kind of just answered my own question. I mean, this this is going to be insanely hard to roll. I mean, so was the shadow, though, to be honest. We got it eventually. We'll just have to keep trying when we can. Playing the lottery. Pen shot. Plus three to flurry. Can we do uh, like two more? Does three anyways. Okay. All right. That's that. Now, so this is level two. This is level two. Uh, I think we do this next then. Or rings. I also kind of want to roll this attack speed off. I don't think we need that much attack speed because we um, master worked our bow attack speed into either luck or just some damage multiplier. Probably damn. I think, I think like twenty to twenty-five percent attack speed is good. See, we're like we're slightly higher than that, and there's times when after like on full rotation we lose like one MB or two. And then again, these shadow MBs will eventually get to plus three. To be fair, okay, maybe leave it for now. Leave it for now. Also, we just burned a lot of gold, so so yeah. Is there a double jeering? <laughs> Not bad. Boo, boo, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Okay. Let's go. Good gear swaps. These high fives all around. Getting our yellow thing, yellow mat. Mm. 
First round. But a lot of random ether themes spawn. It's so random when they spawn. But they're like just so beneficial. It's basically just like here's a bunch of free um free ether. We'll go for dust spires. Walder. I'm slowing bow boys. I actually got a little scared of the hellfire. I ain't gonna lie, dude. I ain't gonna lie, man. It's a little fucking scary. Explode for my dots. in time. Wait, he didn't despawn. I usually despawn. I didn't despawn. Uh, I guess if he finishes his like, summon draft, he doesn't despawn. Dude. Fuck's sake. Like, I'm too lazy to use my CDs. Lives at 1%.
time to do that. Bro, seeing like a million of these little explodey boys just run at you just gives me like cost in flashbacks. <laughs> like, oh no, dude, we're fucked. Invigorating Hellborn. Sure. I haven't tried this before. I don't really know what Invigorate does. So I guess it's the best we find out. That's why they give you a free potion meal when you start an event. Where's the invigorated buff? Increase attack speed, this one? Is that the invigorated buff? So you just gotta increase attack speed? It doesn't say what the buff name is, but I guess that's it, because all the other ones are mine. Nope. Yep. It's kinda ass. Definitely don't need the attack speed. I don't see if that little hand plus icon refreshes when I kill a Hellborn. Yeah. 